वेलकम टू सेशन नंबर वन इन एंड्रॉइड सेशन नंबर वन एंड्रॉइड एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट इन दिस फर्स्ट सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज एंड्रॉइड इंट्रोडक्शन टू एंड्रॉइड इन दिस सेशन नंबर वन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज एंड्रॉइड व्हाट इज ओपन हैंडसेड अलियंस ओ एच ई ए वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वॉट आर द फीचर्स ऑफ एंड्रॉइड categories of android applications history of android and the very important concept we are going to discuss android architecture acha session madhe apan discuss karnar ahot android manje kay android koni develop kelo android madhe features konte konte ahet android chi history kay ahe ani android chi architecture kay ahe ya goshti apan acha session madhe discuss karnar ahot basically Android, Android is not an operating system only. Android ही फक्त ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टीम नहीं है तो Android हा एक मोबाइल प्लैटफॉर्म है दिस Android is a mobile platform. Android is a mobile platform. We can say like this, Android is a Linux based mobile operating system this android is a mobile operating system specifically we can say android is a linux based mobile operating system mobile operating system basically we use operating system in the computers computers madhe apan baryas prakar che operating systems use karto we use windows operating system we use linux operating system we use mac os operating system so many operating systems are available why we use this operating system ya yeah, operating systems apan ka use karto what is the main task of operating system if you see any electronic device just like a pc or computer we use here different operating systems some people use windows operating system some people use linux mac os these operating systems we use so this operating system actually is responsible for memory management he is operating system hai he memory management sathi responsible aste memory management that means if some file is created jar kai files create kela jatat so it allocate some space into the memory it allocates some space into the disk and the file is stored into the particular disk this is memory management what the operating system does for us is memory management this operating system is also responsible for the resource management apan aplya operating system cha sahayana multiple tasks perform karto so many tasks we perform at the same time आणि जेव्हा आपण मल्टिपल टास्क परफॉर्म करतो तेव्हा त्या प्रत्येक टास्क किंवा प्रत्येक प्रोसेसशी रिलेटेड जे काही रिसोर्सेस असतात ह्या रिसोर्सेसना मॅनेज करण्याचं काम देखील ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टीम मार्फत केलं जात असतं त्याचबरोबर ड्रायव्हर मॅनेजमेंट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टीम कम्स विथ सम एम्बेडेड और इनबिल्ट ड्रायव्हर्स जर मी एखादा पेनड्राईव्ह एखाद्या सिस्टीमला कनेक्ट केला असेल तर त्याचे ड्रायव्हर आपल्याला इन्स्टॉल करायची आवश्यकता असत नाही operating system manages all the drivers and it will help to interact any type of input and output device to communicate with the rest of the computer system tyas barobar computer madhe power management yacha kaam dekhil operating system marfat hot asto like this there are so many activities which are performed by the operating system so this android Android is also one operating system. It is not only operating system. Okay. Apart from operating system, there are some different softwares which are included into the Android. This Android is a software stack. This Android is nothing but it is a software stack. It is a software stack means what? It contains one operating system. Android madhe ek operating system. त्याचबरोबर काही मिडलवेअर देर आर सम सॉफ्टवेअर्स कॉल्ड एज मिडलवेअर अँड सम की ॲप्लिकेशन्स आर इन्क्लुडेड इट इन्क्लूड्स सम की ॲप्लिकेशन्स 
so this android is nothing but it is an operating system middleware and key applications it is a software stack hi software stack app and this a software stack is called as a android ya sampurna software stack la android asa matla jato basically in single line statement we can say that android is a linux based mobile operating system now what is this linux based mobile operating system means we will see so what is android actually this android is a complete set of software for mobile devices such as tablet computers notebook computers smartphones electronic book readers set of boxes tv etc बेसिकली को प्रकार का पी सी जर तुम्हें कन्सिडर करता इफ यू टॉक अबाउट एनी पी सी द पी सी हैज टू मेन कॉम्पोनट्स वन इज अ सॉफ्टवेर कॉम्पोनट एंड सेकेंड इज अ हार्डवेर कॉम्पोनट कुछ पी सी कि इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस मधे दोन कॉम्पोन महत्वाचे एक है सॉफ्टवेर कॉम्पोनट आ दुसरा है हार्डवेर कॉम्पोन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई यूज दिस कंप्यूटर मैं जो हा कंप्यूटर यूज करते है In this computer, I may use different softwares like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Notepad, Paintbrush, maybe Adobe Photoshop, Corel Draw, etc. These are the software components I use in my PC. When he says software components, sir, he software components, the hardware बराबर interact करता है, जहाँ hardware चाहे साइन हो, मैं यहाँ PC use करता हूँ. This PC also has some hardware components like processor, memory, monitor, keyboard. So many hardware components are available. अतः यह software component अने hardware component में दे एक layer है operating system कि जैसा सहायन अपन अपने hardware से communicate करते हो कि वह अपन अपने hardware से interact करते हो. So this needs one operating system. In Android also. In Android also, you can see here. In Android also, you can see here. There is one operating system, which is developed for tablet computers, notebooks, smartphones, specifically for the touchscreen devices. This Android operating system is specifically developed for the touchscreen devices, like mobile, tablet, smartphones, electronic book readers, etc. Basically. This Android, as I told you, it contains Linux-based mobile operating system. Okay, Android is not only operating system, but it is a software stack which contains Linux-based operating system, middleware, and key mobile applications. Now, what is this operating system? What is middleware? And what is these key applications? We will see. It is developed by Google and OHA. OHA म्हणजे ओपन हँडसेट अलायन्स आणि गुगल यांनी अँड्रॉइड ही ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टीम किंवा अँड्रॉइड हे ॲप्लिकेशन डेव्हलप केलेलं आहे अँड स्पेसिफिकली जावा लँग्वेज इज मेनली यूज टू राईट द अँड्रॉइड कोड ओके बेसिकली वी कॅन क्रिएट द अँड्रॉइड ॲप्लिकेशन युजिंग सी लँग्वेज ऑल्सो युजिंग सी सी प्लस प्लस ऑल्सो युजिंग सम डॉट नेट लँग्वेजेस ऑल्सो वी कॅन क्रिएट द अँड्रॉइड ॲप्लिकेशन्स But specifically, Java language is the officially declared language, which is mainly used for writing the Android code. Android application develop करता था ना जे coding के लिए जाता हो, ये mostly Java या language में तो उन के लिए जाता हो. So that's why having knowledge about core Java is required for the Android application development. Android application development study core Java से knowledge आसना है अतिशय आवश्यक है ऐसा मतलब जाता हो. So what is exactly Android? Android is a set of software. Android is a software stack which consists of Linux based operating system, middleware and some key mobile application which is called as a Android. Now basically this Android was developed by OHA. He jike Android develop ke lele he OHA ya company na kima ya eka committee na develop ke lele. I told you first point What is the first point I told you? I told you that Android is a software stack. Android is a software stack. That means this software stack contains some softwares. It contains 
operating system it contains some middleware and it contains some key application you can see here this is the android okay this is the android this one is the android now what this android is made up of this android is made up of some different layers okay the first layer is the operating system the first layer is the linux based operating system or you can say linux kernel the operating system is the linux kernel okay linux kernel which is a operating system which is a operating system android madhe je operating system hai tala linux kernel asa mantar because that os is based on the linux operating system after that there is one more layer this layer is called as a native libraries this layer is called as a native libraries what is this native libraries we will see along with this native libraries there is one more layer called as a dalvik virtual machine that means the dvm this is the one more layer available in the android the next layer is the key applications the next layer is the key applications or we can say api key applications or api and the next one is the android applications the next one is the android applications or you can say default applications or the applications we download or we create on the basis of android is this layer so this is called as a android ya sampurna software stack la android asa mantar this entire software stack is called as a android android is not only operating system android is not only operating system but this android is complete software stack ha ek complete complete software stack ahe which includes linux kernel some libraries dvm key applications and some default applications so this entire block this entire this entire software stack is called as android ha sampurna jo software stack ahe ya sampurna software stack la android asa mantla jata android is not a phone android ha kutla phone nahi hai kiwa android he kutla software kiwa application nahi hai this android is nothing but it is a software stack which consist of so many applications like a linux kernel native libraries dvm means dalvik virtual machine it contains some key applications what are the key applications we will see next uh, it contains some default applications ya pratyek layer baddal apan detail madhe discussion karnar ahot this is what is called as a android of android this is what is called as a android now basically the concept of android was initiated by the person called as a andy rubin okay the concept or the idea the concept or idea was initialized by one person called as a andy rubin andy rubin navacha vyakti ne android corporation ya company madhe android corporation ya company madhe basically 2003 madhe ही कॉन्सेप्ट डेवलप के लिए कि कॉन्सेप्ट शोधन काड़ी द कॉन्सेप्ट और आइडिया वॉज इनिशिएटेड द कॉन्सेप्ट और आइडिया वॉज इनिशिएटेड बाय द पर्सन कॉल्ड एज अ एंडी रुबीन इन 2003 थाउजंड थ्री दोन हजार तीन मधे एंडी रुबीन या व्यक्ति ने ऐक्चुअली ही वॉज लुकिंग फॉर सम कैमेरा ऐप्लिकेशन का कैमेरा ऐप्लिकेशन डेवलपमेंट सा हा व्यक्ति काम करी होता यानी एंड्रॉइड नवाच कॉन्सेप्ट डेवलप के लिए कि इनिशिएट के लिए इन टू थाउजंड फाइव दोन हजार पांच मधे गुगल ने ही कंपनी टेक ओवर के लिए ओके इन टू थाउजंड फाइव इन टू थाउजंड फाइव गुगल पर्चेस्ड एंड्रॉइड कॉर्पोरेशन गुगल पर्चेस्ड एंड्रॉइड कॉर्पोरेशन गुगल एंड्रॉइड कॉर्पोरेशन जी कंपनी है हि परचेस के लिए इन टू थाउजंड फाइव गुगल परचेस्ड दिस एंड्रॉइड कॉर्पोरेशन आ एंड्रॉइड कॉर्पोरेशन मधे काम करना जो मेन व्यक्ति होता तो एंडी रुबीनस होता एंड लेटर इन टू थाउजंड सेवेन 
दोन हजार सातमध्ये गुगल फाउंडेड गुगल फाउंडेड एक कमिटी गुगलने एक कमिटी किंवा एक असोसिएशन क्रिएट केलं गुगल फाउंडेड वन कमिटी और असोसिएशन ऑफ एटी फोर डिफरंट कंपनीज चौर ते पंच वेगवेगे कंपनीज सहायन कि कंपनीजना एकत्र कर गुगलन एक असोसिएशन कि एक कमिटी क्रिएट के लिए डिफरंट कंपनीज को प्रकार से कंपनीज होत डीज कंपनीज वेर हार्डवेर रिलेटेड कंपनीज हार्डवेर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनीज सग्या प्रकार हार्डवेर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनीज ताचर वेगवेग् प्रकार सॉफ्टवेर कंपनीज ताचबरबर ज्या बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट कंपनीज होत बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट कंपनीज मोबाइल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनीज वेगवेगे प्रकार से ज्यादा मोबाइल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनीज होत्याबर वेग अशा बयाचा कंपनी का एक मोटा ग्रुप गुगल ने क्रिएट के एक असोसिएशन गुगल ने क्रिएट के दैट असोसिएशन वॉज कॉल्ड ऐज अ ओ एच ई ए दैट असोसिएशन वॉज कॉल्ड ऐज अ ओ एच ई ए ओपन हैंडसेट आलियन्स ओपन हैंडसेट आलियन्स अशा प्रकार की एक कमिटी डेवलप के लिए एंड दिस कमिटी ऐक्चुअली डेवलप्ड द सॉफ्टवेर स्टैक दिस कमिटी डेवलप्ड एंड्रॉइड सो देर इज अ फ्रिक्वेंट क्वेश्चन हु डेवलप्ड एंड्रॉइड सो दिस ओ एच ए पीपल डेवलप्ड द एंड्रॉइड ओ एच ए पीपल न ओ एच ए पीपल मीन्स द कंसॉर्डियम ऑफ डिफरंट कंपनीज द कंसॉर्डियम ऑफ एटी फोर कंपनीज ऐक्चुअली डेवलप्ड एंड्रॉइड वॉट वॉट डिड द डेवलप्ड ऐक्चुअली these people developed these things okay these people developed these things means this software tag was developed this software stack was developed by the oha people so i am telling you here this android is nothing but it is a software stack and this software stack was developed by oha people android is developed android is developed by ओ एच ए न वॉट इज दिस ओ एच ए दिस ओ एच ए इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ कंपनी और इट इज अ असोसिएशन नॉट अ कंपनी बट दिस ओ एच ए इज अ असोसिएशन और कमिटी ऑफ डिफरंट कंपनीज सो मेनी हार्डवेर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनीज सॉफ्टवेर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनीज बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट कंपनीज मोबाइल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनीज सेमी कंडक्टर चिप चिप मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनीज different type of companies come together they created one association which was called as a oha and who created this oha google formed google founded this committee or association which is led by google in 2007 and in the year 2008 in 2008 first android mobile was created okay in 2008 first android mobile फर्स्ट एंड्रॉइड मोबाइल डेवलप्ड फर्स्ट एंड्रॉइड मोबाइल डेवलप्ड एंड केम इन टू द मार्केट बाय एच टी सी कंपनी एच टी सी या कंपनी का टी मोबाइल जो होता टी मोबाइल दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट एंड्रॉइड मोबाइल विच वॉज डेवलप्ड इन टू थाउजंड एट सो दीज आर सम इम्पॉर्टंट पॉइंट्स वी हैव टू रिमेम्बर सो हियर द एंड्रॉइड वॉज डेवलप्ड बाय ओपन हैंडसेट आलियन्स ओपन हैंडसेट आलियन्स या एक कमिटीन हा एंड्रॉइड डेवलप के एंड दिस ओपन हैंडसेट एलियन्स वॉज लेड बाय गुगल एंड अदर कंपनीज दिस ओ एच ए इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ कंसॉर्टियम ऑफ एटी फोर डिफरंट कंपनीज सच एज गुगल सैमसंग ए के एम सीनैप्टिक्स सो मेनी कंपनीज केम टुगेदर एंड दे डेवलप्ड वन असोसिएशन विच इज कॉल्ड एज अ ओ एच ए एंड दिस ओ एच ए डेवलप्ड This OHA developed the Android. OHA was established in November 2007, led by Google, and basically it is committed to advance open standards. Open standards advance करने साथी कि वह वेगवेगे प्रकार का handset related services provide करने साथी deploy करने साथी या प्रकार का एक association कि वह एक committee develop के लिए के लिए and this is nothing but the ओपन हैंडसेट आलियन्स सो वॉट आर द फीचर्स ऑफ एंड्रॉइड एंड्रॉइड हे जे ऐप्लिकेशन डेवलप के एंड्रॉइड हा एक मोबाइल प्लैटफॉर्म डेवलप के 
या अँड्रॉइड या मोबाईल प्लॅटफॉर्ममध्ये नेमके कोणते कोणते ॲडव्हांटेजेस आहेत देर आर सो मेनी फीचर्स अँड सो मेनी ॲडव्हांटेजेस ऑफ अँड्रॉईड देर आर सो मेनी फीचर्स और वी कॅन से ॲडव्हांटेजेस देर आर सो मेनी फीचर्स और ॲडव्हांटेजेस ऑफ अँड्रॉईड सो वॉट आर द फीचर्स द फर्स्ट इम्पॉर्टंट फीचर ऑफ अँड्रॉईड इज इट इज ओपन सोर्स इट इज ओपन सोर्स एनी वन कॅन डाउनलोड द कम्प्लीट सोर्स कोड अँड वी कॅन यूज दिस ओपन सोर्स कोड एनी वन कॅन डाउनलोड मीन्स वॉट इफ यू आर अ मोबाईल मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग कंपनी जर तुम्ही एक मोबाईल मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग कंपनी असाल इफ यू आर अ मोबाईल मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग कंपनी तुम्ही हे सॉफ्टवेअर डाउनलोड करू शकाल तुमच्या मोबाईलमध्ये इन्स्टॉल करू शकाल आणि इझिली तो मोबाईल तुम्हाला सेल करता येऊ शकेल कन्सिडर विंडोज इज अ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एनी वन कॅनॉट डायरेक्टली डाउनलोड द विंडोज वी नीड टू परचेस द लायसन्स रॅदर इफ यू कन्सिडर लायनक्स लायनक्स इज अ कम्प्लीटली ओपन सोर्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एनी कंपनी कॅन डाउनलोड द लायनक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम अँड दे कॅन कमर्शियली यूज दॅट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम विंडोज इज नॉट प्रोपरायटरी विंडोज इज नॉट अ फ्री ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इट इज अ प्रोपरायटरी ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम हियर अँड्रॉइड अँड्रॉइड इज कम्प्लीटली ओपन सोर्स कम्प्लीट सोर्स कोड इज ओपन टू पब्लिक एनी मोबाईल मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग कंपनी एनी डेव्हलपर एनी मोबाईल मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग कंपनी एनी टाईप ऑफ सॉफ्टवेअर डेव्हलपर ओके एनी टाईप ऑफ युजर एनी टाईप ऑफ युजर एनी वन कॅन डाउनलोड द कम्प्लीट सोर्स कोड ऑफ अँड्रॉइड अँड्रॉइडचा कम्प्लीट एस डी के किंवा जो सोर्स कोड आहे तो डाउनलोड केला जाऊ शकतो दिस अँड्रॉइड ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड्स ॲप्लिकेशन इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर ॲप्लिकेशन्स द अँड्रॉइड ॲप्लिकेशन्स प्रोवाइड इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर्स इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर्स द अँड्रॉइड ॲप्लिकेशन प्रोवाइड्स द इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर्स दॅट मीन्स इट विल बी इझी टू डेव्हलप द ॲप्लिकेशन्स फॉर द डेव्हलपर्स ॲज अ डेव्हलपर इट इज इझी टू इट इज इझी टू डेव्हलप द ॲप्लिकेशन्स बिकॉज ऑफ द इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर्स वी कॅन से प्री डिफाइंड ऑर रेडीमेड ए पी आयज इज प्रोवायडेड अँड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ए पी आय इट इज व्हेरी इझी टू डेव्हलप द अँड्रॉइड ॲप्लिकेशन्स हे अँड्रॉइड ॲप्लिकेशन डेव्हलप करणं खूप सोपं पडेल अनदर वन इज देर इज अ ह्यूज हार्डवेअर सपोर्ट सो मेनी कंपनीज नाव डेज डेव्हलपिंग हार्डवेअर फॉर अँड्रॉइड बऱ्याचशा कंपनीज मोस्ट कंपनीज मे बी फिफ्टी पर्सेंट मार्केट इज कवर्ड बाय अँड्रॉइड टुडे टुडे मोर दॅन एट लॅक ॲप्लिकेशन्स आर अवेलेबल फॉर द अँड्रॉइड सो सो मेनी हार्डवेअर कंपनीज आर डेव्हलपिंग द हार्डवेअर विच इज सपोर्टेड बाय अँड्रॉइड अँड्रॉइडला सपोर्ट करणार करणारे सॉफ्टवेअर्स बऱ्याचशा कंपनीज आज डेव्हलप करत आहेत सो देर इज अ ह्यूज सपोर्ट देर इज अ ह्यूज सपोर्ट फ्रॉम द हार्डवेअर कंपनीज जस्ट लाईक सॅमसंग नोकिया एच टी सी सो मेनी कंपनीज आर डेव्हलपिंग हार्डवेअर फॉर द अँड्रॉइड अनदर ॲडव्हांटेज ऑफ फीचर इज द लो बजेट लो बजेट मीन्स फॉर डेव्हलपिंग द अँड्रॉइड द सॉफ्टवेअर कॉस्ट इज व्हेरी लो ओके फ्रीडम टू डेव्हलप न्यू ॲप्लिकेशन्स फ्रीडम टू डेव्हलप न्यू ॲप्लिकेशन्स बिकॉज दिस अँड्रॉइड इज फ्री एनी डेव्हलपर कॅन डाउनलोड दिस एस डी के अँड ही कॅन मॉडिफाय द कोड he can develop any applications the applications can be deployed in the play store and anyone can download these applications ha download ha applications aplyala download karta yu shakti easy installation installation is very easy okay this installation part is very easy okay even as a developer also it is very easy as a user also it is very easy social networking is also very easy so many companies are providing their apis like facebook is providing their api okay twitter is providing his api so it is easy for the social networking also so many advantages and features are available it is open source anyone can customize lot of mobile applications can be chosen by the consumer it provides many interesting features okay rss feeds and so many we can develop it supports messaging services like sms mms it has the inbuilt browser android jeva apan install karto 
okay whenever we install the android there are some default applications that means web browser inbuilt ahe sqlite database inbuilt ahe so many media related and uh, different types of applications are ready made default applications are available and because of these features android become very popular and actually has captured more than 50% market in the world so many types of applications are available entertainment related applications communication related applications personalization music social media and video travel and local so many different types of applications are available in the market asa baras prakar che applications market madhe uplabdh hai ani yancha sahayane apan aplya vegvegya prakar che requirements fulfill karu shakto and the requirements are increasing i told you some feature, some points about history also i told you some points about history also initially the concept was initialized by andy rubin in the in the year 2003 2003 madhe andy rubin ya vyakti na android corporation ya company madhe ya android chi sankalpana initiate keli in 2005 google purchased the android corporation 2005 madhe he android corporation company google ne purchase kele and in 2007 google created one association one association was created led by google of different companies it is a consortium of 84 different companies which was called as a open handset alliance and this open handset alliance developed the android and the first mobile the first android mobile was launched in 2008 by htc company and the mobile was the t mobile which was the first mobile launched in the 2008 by htc company this oha people developed android means exactly what did they develop they developed one software stack the oha people developed one software stack and this software stack is called as android so this android consist of one operating system which was based on linux why these oha people preferred linux oha people kiwa oha na linux sa vapar ka kela because linux is a more secure and it is a free operating system oha people prefer to use this linux kernel as a operating system apart from the operating system android also contains some native libraries what are these native libraries we will see definitely we will discuss what are these native libraries they developed a dvm also okay the android also contains one dvm this dvm is nothing but the dalvik virtual machine if you are a java programmer you must know what is jvm java virtual machine which is responsible for handling the byte code this dvm is also some kind of runtime which is used to execute the applications which is responsible for executing the applications in the android now what does this dvm exactly do we will definitely discuss next uh, android also consists the key applications what are these key applications we will see and android also contains the applications that we use for example we use the contact application we use the phone application there is messaging applications some default applications are available in the android apart from the default applications we install new applications we may download it from play store or we can directly we can directly install the applications from other sources also we will see these points so here you can see initially andy rubin founded the android incorporation in palo alto california united states in october 2003 17 august 2005 google acquired the android corporation and since then it is a subsidiary of google corporation in 2007 group of mobile handset producers competing companies including google samsung motorola sony intel they formed a one association called as a open handset alliance to develop an open and non proprietary mobile operating system and this non proprietary mobile platform is nothing but this is the android and in the september 2008 google and oha people released the first android sdk 
and placed under the open source license the first mobile the first handset was came in the 2008 in 2009 they developed the version 2.0 which was called as eclair okay google or oha people developed a different versions and these versions are actually called as eclair honeycomb these are the versions android 4.0 ice cream sandwich was released in 2011 android 4.1 jelly bean was released in 2012 android 4.4 kit kat was released in 2013 and now the latest version is the 2014 lollipop version android 5 and this google and oh people are actually are about to launch the new version android 6 Android 6 is also is about to launch in the market. We will talk about these latest things in the next of, next few sessions. This is the list of Android versions, their code names, and their API level. As a developer point of view, to understand this API level is very important. And what is the importance of this API level? We will see in the next session. Right now, for the information, right now for your information, the list of version code name. an api level is given in this presentation now what is the android architecture this is the android architecture this is the android architecture this android is made up of some software stack which consists the operating system what is the job of this operating system exactly this operating system is responsible for memory management this operating system is responsible for memory management this operating system is also responsible for power management apla device madhe mag to smartphone asel kiwa ekada tablet asel kiwa ekada mobile asel tv asel tyachyamadhe memory management power management tyas barobar device management device management tyas barobar power management okay memory management driver ड्राइवर मैनेजमेंट यह जे काम है ड्राइवर मैनेजमेंट मीन्स कैमेरा ड्राइवर ब्लूटूथ ड्राइवर वाईफाई ड्राइवर वी विल सी इन द डिटेल्स ऑल्सो अपन हिंदे डिटेल मे देखी डिस्कस करना आहोत बट दिस ऑपरेटिंग सीस्टम इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दीज काइंड्स ऑफ जॉब्स दिस ऑपरेटिंग सीस्टम वॉट इज द ऑपरेटिंग सीस्टम इन एंड्रॉइड इन एंड्रॉइड द ऑपरेटिंग सीस्टम इज नथिंग बट द लाइनक्स एंड्रॉइड मधे जी ऑपरेटिंग सीस्टम है तेल लाइनक्स ऑपरेटिंग सीस्टम अंत or linux operating system is used in android and this linux operating system in android is responsible for memory management power management device management and driver management and some some kind of these jobs now basically i am telling you the applications in android will be developed in java android application jar aplyala develop karaycha astil तर हे जे अँड्रॉइड ॲप्लिकेशन्स डेव्हलप केले जातात दीज अँड्रॉइड ॲप्लिकेशन्स कॅन बी डेव्हलप्ड युझिंग सी लँग्वेज सी प्लस प्लस लँग्वेज जावा लँग्वेज ऑर वी कॅन यूज सम डॉट नेट लँग्वेज ऑल्सो आपल्याला डॉट नेट लँग्वेजचा देखील वापर करता येऊ शकेल युझिंग सी सी प्लस प्लस अँड जावा वी कॅन डेव्हलप द अँड्रॉइड ॲप्लिकेशन्स बेसिकली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज दिस सी सी प्लस प्लस यू हॅव टू यूज द एल डी के If you want to use the Java, you have to use some SDK, and if you want to use this .NET, you have to use the Mono Android. Now, what is this Mono Android? What is this SDK? What is this LDK? We will definitely discuss. But apart from Java, apart from Java, if you want to do some do some tasks like displaying the graphics, you will need some native libraries. So, what other kind specific task perform can you do? एखाद्या ॲप्लिकेशनसाठी तर त्यासाठी आपल्याला काही लायब्ररीज लागतील अँड दीज लायब्ररीज आर नथिंग बट द नेटिव्ह लायब्ररीज फॉर एक्झाम्पल सपोज वी हॅव सम अँड्रॉइड ॲप्लिकेशन सपोज की आपल्याकडे एक्स वाय झेड नावाचं एक अँड्रॉइड ॲप्लिकेशन आहे अँड दिस अँड्रॉइड ॲप्लिकेशन नीड्स सम डेटा टू बी स्टोर्ड इन द डेटाबेस या ॲप्लिकेशनसाठी काहीतरी डेटा डेटाबेसमध्ये म्हणजे बॅकेंडमध्ये स्टोअर करायची गरज आहे तर तो बॅकेंड कोण प्रोवाइड करतं these native libraries will provide the backend for example suppose this is one pc and in this pc 
we want to develop one software and for developing the software we may use the java application now java application can be used to develop the front end java java language madun tumhala fakt front end develop karta yeu shakel what about the data data tumhi kuda store karal you will store the data into oracle mysql maybe access maybe some sybase maybe some any other database system so you will need to connect with the database you will need to store the data into that backend or a database so in android in android there are some native libraries who will provide the backend services who will provide the web services who will provide the graphic services and these native libraries are developed by different software companies hardware companies okay oha people developed these native libraries okay this native library contains sqlite database this native library contains sqlite database open gl which is used for displaying or rendering the graphics next one is the web kit web kit this is also one native library these are the examples of native libraries now what is the advantage of each library we will see in the detail in next few days right now you have to just consider what is the android architecture the android architecture is made up of one operating system and this operating system is nothing but it is the linux kernel which is responsible for memory management power management device management driver management etc these native libraries are used by the applications for doing some specific tasks for example sqlite is one native library developed by some oha vendor open gl is used for the graphic purpose web kit provides some useful browsers some inbuilt browser and browser capabilities are provided by this web kit along with this sqlite open gl web kit there are so many different libraries like free type ssl so many libraries are available we will discuss these libraries next is the dvm dvm means dalvik virtual machine this is a dalvik virtual machine this is a dalvik virtual machine is used to provide the run time is used to execute the applications it is responsible for executing android applications to execute applications we use one run time called as a dalvik virtual machine which is also included into the android software stack next one is the key application what are the key applications key application means some java api or some application programming interface used to develop the applications used to perform some specific tasks for example there is a software or there is a key application called as activity manager activity manager location manager samjha ki tumhala gps system cha vapar karaycha hai if you want to use this gps system in your application suppose xyz is the application and in this application you want something to access the location no need to write the code for accessing the location ekada vyakti ja kiwa tumcha current location track karnasathi tumhala kutla software kiwa tumhala kutla coding type karaychi garaj nahi hai you can use the location manager api you can use the location manager key application pre defined ready made application simply you can use one function called as a get position directly you can get the current position like that there is a telephony manager telephony manager this telephony manager is responsible for performing the tasks related to making a call sending sms okay sms manager in sms manager ready made class is available sms manager like this bluetooth manager wifi manager okay so many inbuilt key applications are available and all the key applications are deployed into the android whenever you install android the it comes with all the key applications and these applications are nothing but the applications that we use in our device these are the applications that we use these are the applications that we use in our device आपल्या डिव्हाइस मध्ये हे ऍप्लिकेशन आपण यूज करतो फॉर एक्झाम्पल यू कॅन सी हिअर आय वॉन्ट टू शो यू सम ऍप्लिकेशन 
you can see here in your mobile you can use these applications so these applications are nothing but the android applications now each of this application whenever you open they use some kind of key application they use some kind of uh, native libraries they are actually executed using the dalvik virtual machine and to do all these things we need to interact with the hardware and to interact with the hardware one layer called as operating system will help us to interact with the particular hardware on which we are using this application for example here one small application i want to open this is the login application i want to open i have created this application in the previous session so this application actually is using the native library called as sqlite here you can see if i click on this new user sign up it will bring me another form and in this form i can write some i can write some characters okay here i can write some characters as the last name here i may write some city here i may write some username some asd here i may write some password also so like this i can do the tasks actually ya software madhe kiwa ya application madhe mi kay kelele hai sqlite database cha vapar kelele hai if i click on this register button the data will be stored in the sqlite database so who will provide this sqlite database these native libraries will provide the sqlite database there are some native libraries which are available that we can use in that application so this is the architecture of android this is the architecture of android this android is a linux based the open source software stack that comes with operating system middleware native mobile application along with set up some api libraries for building the third party application you can see here this is the this is actually what is the android architecture this architecture or this android consists of the linux kernel it consists of the native libraries like media graphics opengl sqlite webkit etc along with these native libraries there is a runtime called as a dvm which is responsible for executing the application and some api is available this api provides some predefined applications for accessing bluetooth accessing location managing the activities managing the view system and like this this uh, android will work for you so what is linux kernel the important information is given in this presentation i want to copy this presentation for you that you can just go through this presentation and you can see what is the use of the native libraries what is the dalvik virtual machine this dalvik virtual machine is actually same like jvm java virtual machine this java virtual machine will take the java program as a input and it will produce the bytecode the dvm will will take dot class or a bytecode as a input and it will create some dx files dalvik executable files now what is the process flow of execution that also we will discuss so here all of all of these these are the important points today we have discussed and what is the prerequisite for android this also we will discuss in the next session so these are the topics we have discussed uh, what is actually android android is a software stack what is open handset alliance this is a committee this is association developed by the google or founded by the google led by the google we discussed what are the features of android we discussed uh, that it is a open source hardware support is available low budget freedom to develop new application easy installation so many features we have discussed we also discussed the categories of android application history of android who developed android how it was developed and the very important part we have discussed is the android architecture this is the android architecture this android is made up of these things and i explained in short what is the use of the a particular layer what is the use of the each software stack in android now what are the prerequisites of android development as an android developer if you want to develop the android applications you will need to use either c c++ either java or dot net 
I will prefer to use the Java because Java is the officially used, mainly used programming language for developing the Android. And to use the Java, we need the Java SE development kit. We need to install the JDK. The installation part we are going to discuss tomorrow. Udaya apna apna pahila Android application develop karna raho. We will discuss. We will see how we can develop the first Hello World program. And to develop the Hello World program, to write the Hello World program, what are the installation requirements? What are the installation setup requirement? We will discuss tomorrow.